sense. Okay, this man's really gonna talk about Banjo Kazooie for uh, 25 minutes. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai. Hello, of the Super Smash Masahiro Brothers. Sakurai. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Okay. He's today! He's coming out today! You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero Showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Um, we sure are it, busy. it wasn't that long ago, so really. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was this man. He's myself. an angel. We don't He's deserve him. Controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my Well, he's just bragging about how good he is at the game. And how Today hard his job is. Today, I set up side by side. But back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. Wow, okay. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once. What is wrong with him? Why don't they just have someone stand behind him and play? Alright, let's get started. He just wants to challenge himself. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. It's the game that bred many After soy that, boys. Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Don't mention nuts Two and bolts. Were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. Don't mention nuts and bolts. It doesn't exist. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Oops. Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. Oops. That game's not real. Don't look it up. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. This music is a little bit too loud. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Technically. Even so, they were happy for they Banjo Kazooie enemy. to join the Super Smash Bros. series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Oh. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try. Interesting. Xbox. That's that's a very interesting and strange thing for him to say. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. <sighs> okay. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. Okay. 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 So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different. This from man the used the word ROM, being all technical. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called claw swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. I like the little pose he does after he does it. <laughs> Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different Ooh, from like the original that. games, but the animation reflects the fact that I like it's a consecutive that. attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. 
Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. What does that Japanese word Their neutral air like is slightly translate to then? Like what can it be compared Their back to? Is an air rat -tat -rat, which hits three times. Their down air is beak buster, which they use to down A lot of Kazooie moves. But I guess that's fitting. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack. I want to see Kirby. I want to see Kirby do that. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Uh, it looks fun. Special is Wonder Wing. Looks like a fun character. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. But you can only use it five times? It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again oh, okay. until you lose a stop. Interesting. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. Yeah. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Oof. In addition, you can be grabbed during this. Grabbed? At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. Okay. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against oh, this attack and recovery. remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Can you get hit by that recovery thing? Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponent okay, yeah. with Shock Spring Pad. It can be used to recover it's just like, and it's um, throwable too. Someone also, else. Someone else does that, right? Sonic? That carry the fighter Someone else does it? And that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. It's kind of like Bowser Jr.'s, but it doesn't explode. So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. What? By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change Pink. depending on how long you hold the button down. Wee! Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. I kind of like that though. That's cool. I don't know if there are too many moves that are like specifically its bouncy trajectory like unpredictable behind you after a certain time it will explode it's pretty unique I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check it's treated like an item so you can pick it up and throw it your opponents can also throw it back at you but its detonation sequence is relatively short so both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. Can't wait to see all the uh, Chad plays where people poop that off the edge of the stage and kill people with it. So he's looking Last pretty cool. Their final smash is the mighty Ginginator. Ginginator. The mighty Ginginator. is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying.
This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. What? A rotation icon will appear. And then it rotates. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. It's quite unusual on Anything my eyes. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. I feel like this will make me dizzy As after a while. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. That's pretty cool. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Oh boy, a bagel. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team Not battles. just one, but two monkeys. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are Whoa. useful at times like this. He just blocked Thanks that Kazooie, nut. Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them Come on. Come on, you can do it. You got the Pokemon and everything. Note we're playing with items on. Ooh! Damn! Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good so Get him with that taunt, though. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can that. use it twice. <laughs> I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. Yeah, like okay. Two more times. Okay, buddy. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, ooh, get him, ooh. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. Poor translator has to pretend like he's playing. Now. And. Oh nice. my god! Have mercy! Oh, I thought he now got both of them. Less opponent, this should be easier. Computer player. I do want to use a final smash. Does the announcer say that in English? Top. Or does he say player oh, three good. or something? No, he says computer player, right? And final smash. Wow. I forced him out, so I win. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original oh, game. Oh, a pretty cool victory <laughs> animation. <laughs> oh, poor right. translator. Poor guy. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos. Isn't this the same translator who like really messed up one time during like a live thing and like everyone thought he got fired? This poor they keep reusing it. Underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's dead, isn't he? He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Did he die? Next is Didn't Mumbo he die in one of the games? I don't know anything about this these games. This poor soul games. had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. There she is. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Wow, okay. Really focusing on this. Now she's heading back home. 
She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. The they come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So what are they supposed to be? Also sad souls. Little creatures? And now we see something floating around in the background. That is these a are our basic comb. enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in oh. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You mean the little firefly things? This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of laughing into in the, the guest characters so as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey yo, which brand monitor are you using, bro? Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. That's country style music? Of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely I don't know if I call new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So we're going to make him more expensive. <laughs> this man has so much charisma. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. Just kidding, he sucks! Why doesn't he put Steve in the game? I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Good job. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, <coughs> but he did an absolutely wonderful <coughs> job. Aww. Listen to him getting all that praise. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Cool. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. Okay. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play. You don't so need to do this for us. This man is too generous. Oh! Damage the sandbag in front of you as much Home as run possible. contest. I was never good at this, but... <laughs> this bat, not with this. Why is but it this blushing? Bat. It's blushing, and bro. And off it goes. High. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Yeah, I was never good at that, but I, I liked doing it in Brawl. You can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack. What? He's playing with two hands. What? There's like people in the background. Why don't, you, why don't you just give him a controller, you psychopath? Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. Yeah, he just revealed how people are going to take advantage of it. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you oh, find from a ones you download? Like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want. Oh, I didn't know you couldn't do that already. However, I think I downloaded uh, Big Smoke from San Andreas, and that's about it. And only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties. Man, we will add in some what a good game. costumes as well. Please take a look. More me fighter costumes, huh? Okay, what do we got? 
deconfirmations of characters that people want. Oh, hello? Mystical Ninja. Goemon. I've seen this character before. Another Mega Man thing. Proto Man. A lot of people like Proto Man, right? Or am I thinking of another one? Yeah, no, people like this guy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was thinking of him. Zero, that's his name. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. I like that. Okay, I'm glad I uh, recorded my reaction to this. Are you... I... I cannot... My heart rate... My heart rate... I... <laughs> they put Sans in Smash Bros. Guys... Sans is in Smash Bros, guys. Hello? Hello? Later today for 70... Hey, bro, come on, you know everyone's gonna get Sans. Sans comes with the song? We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale. Oh my... Who was a popular request. Oh my god. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. First, Toby Fox gets to make music for a Game Freak game, and now Sans is in Undertale. Toby Fox. And he gets his own original song Toby in Smash Bros. My house, and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate together. What? This man is a pimp. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. He's so powerful. When we both chose random and played, oh the win God. ratio was about half and half. I am. Or I <laughs> Sans is in Smash Brothers. <laughs> That's I'd like to talk that's about incredible. A new that will soon be available. It's so stupid. I love it. It's so absolutely stupid. Okay. First of all, <laughs> I saw the side of Squirtle's head and I thought they were making a Sans amiibo, and I was like, okay, that's too much. That's too much stupid. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. Wow. Okay. They will each be available on September twentieth. Squirtle's kind of cool. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Wow. Holy shit. Sans is in Smash Bros. And he basically is, because it's like a me fighter, but it just covers his whole face. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, and then Terry Bogard, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Who the hell? Although this man's name Bogard. Trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. But where is it's it? Shaping up nicely. He's not ready yet. Take your time, all right? We, we don't need him. Take your time. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Okay. Here you go. Yes, please. Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. Okay. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. This poor man. <clears throat> you may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash yes. Bros. Ultimate? This poor tortured soul. But I'm also excited. Okay, well that's good. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. Uh-huh. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. Uh -huh. At the same time, 
I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. Yes, that is true. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. You're crazy. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. You're crazy. I appreciate your support. <coughs> That's it for today. Thank wow. you very much. Sans, guys. Oh my god. It's so stupid. It's so absolutely stupid. But you know what? It's great. It's amazing. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I will see you on my next video, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, as always. Um, yes.